Yo, welcome to my build tutorial. Let me quickly show you around, see if you want to build it or not, and then we will get into showing you exactly how to build it. But here it is. Uh, let's start looking through the inside. So basically I've made this as efficient as possible, um, but it obviously it gets quite expensive when you're doing that. So some of it isn't uh, realistic, a lot, if you like. Like I have a lot of um, I've tried to make it as as like cheap as well at the same time, but there's a few thrones for example And they're like fairly expensive. So you might not want to build uh, Like as many thrones and stuff like that or if you've got all the resources in the world You might want to build more but for the most part. I've tried to maximize uh, The comfort level throughout the house. So as you can see most places it it's like between sort of 10 and 16 I think I think the lowest it goes is about 10 on the stairs or no 9 on the stairs but yeah, throughout the rest of the house, it's generally pretty high. So if we go through what is in it, first of all, we have like your, your crafting station, if you like, with workbench, forge, and then the spinning wheel, all fully upgraded in this uh, small area. And then you've got your two fermenters here. You've got your two forges here, your stone cutter and your artisan table. Uh, a few bits for, for comfort, your fire in the middle. This fire pretty much covers the whole house, so that's pretty awesome. There's like... If, if you really try hard enough, you can I think you can find places where it doesn't cover, um, like in the very corners and stuff like that. Like, yeah, if you'd like jump on top of the throne, but obviously that's not realistic. Uh, and then you've got your, your charcoal, charcoal kiln uh, under the stairs. And then if you come upstairs, you've got storage, which can go probably twice as high as that. At least two more layers of chests on uh, both sides. So plenty of storage. Um, and then this little artsy bit to stop you from falling into the fire. The bedroom, which as you can see, looks pretty cool. The only downside, like the, the, the worst downside I can think of to this build is that when you sleep, you only get comfort 14 because you're slightly too far from the fire. But other than that, this it's pretty dead on efficient. Uh, four portals, if you want more room to put more in, you can probably throw another one there and there. And then I'll show you later on as well where you can probably fit more and more storage if you need more storage. Yeah, and then you've also got these little uh, huts that you can do whatever you want with. I currently have just put bonfires in them because they look cool. But yeah, and then also if you want to build out the back and put like similar things in these uh, little nooks, you can do. Uh, obviously, the roof is all the way around. No, no gaps or anything. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool design in my opinion. But yeah, uh, so there it is. So if you want to... Uh, build it and see how to build it stick around and watch the next bit Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is flatten out a large area I have already laid down the foundations just to give you an idea of how large of an area you need to flatten out So it's basically this and then a little bit more on the front a little bit more around the sides because of where the walls go um, And then you want to leave the front areas the front like corners for the canopies to have room as well so the area I've flattened out is maybe a little bit too much, but is a good sort of uh, border for how much room you need. Okay, and now we're going to jump in and start with the walls. Okay, so we're going to start with the corners, which are probably the most complicated part. But you want to do it like so, if it will snap, like that. And then I prefer the way it looks like this, but it is more expensive. So if you're trying to do it cheaper, you can just use the single block and then that bit like that and then on the outsides you want the big wall so it's basically just this and then like this and a pillar and you basically just want to mirror this all the way around apart from on the front because obviously we need to put the the door in so yeah so depending on whether you want uh, looks or efficiency. I don't think it looks that much worse. I just think it looks a little bit worse You can either It's also harder to be fair to place it uh, merged in because it doesn't quite want to clip the same So there you go That's this is basically what you do and then you just want to do that all the way around so that you get sort of a one high wall all the way around Okay, so you should end up with something like this the first placement where you're trying to place stuff in the ground is usually a bit is a lot more tricky than the placements after because it doesn't 
It doesn't like snap in half into the ground. Okay, and then we'll start building out the entrance a little bit more to give us a bit more shape. So you want to throw pillars on the sides and then two uh, foundations there and then build up these walls like so and then just throw your doors in at the back and then build up these three high or four high I guess including the one in the ground and then you just want to place your one little square by square that doesn't make sense one by one uh, block there that one there and then your stairs in like so and then you're probably going to want to flatten out uh, your ground properly so that it doesn't mesh in and look a bit bit ugly like it does over here okay so now that we've got a basic shape to it you just want to build all of these walls up uh six high or six full ones high so go three four five six so you just want to match this high on all of them all the way around if you're struggling to uh, build higher you can either do scaffolding and build like that um and just keep building up and building like that you can also if your jump skill is high enough just build like so okay and now you should have something like this so make sure you leave the front the same just because we need to fit the uh, balcony in now if you want these uh, wooden beams in the corners you want to build them now because it gets a bit more difficult uh, later on but there is no point to them. They are just uh, aesthetic. But yeah, if you want them, I recommend doing them now. So you just want to snap them like so. Like so. And then like that. Nice and simple. Okay, and then next you want to throw the big stones on the front. And then four of the little ones on top of that. So then we can start building out our second floor. And this is in line with the floor. So now if we come over here, we can start building our staircase. So you just want to do like so. And then fill in the corners with your floor. And then just come down here and start building out your second floor. Okay, so you should end up with something like this. So make sure your uh floor overhangs one compared to the stairs here and then you just want to bash out a little two by two square in the middle so that we can ventilate the smoke from the fire that will be here okay and then now we're going to start the roof which can be quite complicated but i will show you how to do it okay so basically what you want to do is start at the edge and just place three in of the 26 uh, degrees sloped roof and then just come on game saving uh come out two and then place the little uh roof ridge and then just cap that off over here and you should get this and then you just want to do that on all of the bits that stick out okay and then you should end up with something that looks like this and then you want to come into these corners grab the uh, thatch roof the corner one the 26 degree and just throw that in the corner and then grab this piece and throw that like so and then you're going to want to just mirror that and just do that a couple I think a couple times until you get to the center and then just fill in these bits like so okay and then this is what half of it should look like so you should have uh, two of these ones coming out actually two, just two of both coming out so if I just show you the full the full process over here just to make it crystal clear so two of these coming out two of these coming out and then same on the other side and then just fill in the gaps with the slope and then keep this bit coming out Okay, and then you should end up with a 3x3 three three hole in the middle. So you just want to grab the little pole facing up, throw them in the corners, and then grab your 26 degree roof again and have that face the center and just place that on all the poles. And then just attach all of them with the 26 degree slope and then just cap it off with 
the little roof ridge and then your roof is all done apart from the canopies which we'll do towards the end okay and then if you want to do the balcony next we just want to go one out from here and then just one more out on the middle two and then grab your little one by one bit and throw them in the corners and then just grab a one meter pole and put it like so i like to have this bit rotated out just because i think it looks cooler uh, obviously this is just for looks but okay and then you want to place ones here although these are just for for uh, helping us snap things and they will be deleted later then you want to put a one meter beam across there and then grab a longer beam and go two in like so so just get it snapped and then one two and then bang and then get another beam and just go one in so like so and then this bit is a bit a bit tricky i haven't found a better way to do this so if you want to just place a board to come out just to stand on and then a one meter just slightly set back like so and then you just want to freehand place this one i found no good way to get it to snap and then if your your beam's too far back which mine is as you can see it sticks out a bit you just want to move it forward and keep doing it until you get it right and then throw that down like so and then you get the nice rounded balcony effect and then just delete these little support beams not that one that's the wrong one like so and then i like to place the little one beam along the bottom just because i think it looks a bit nicer um obviously personal preference doesn't actually add anything to the building and then the two long ones at the front and then for the roof you just want to do the same thing but just keep it coming out two more so like so and then i put the beams up here grab the diagonal one and don't do that and place it snapped there and snapped there and then wooden beams here and then the same on the other side and now we should have most of it built up we just need to fill in these gaps here so you just want to throw the corner piece down in each corner it is a bit tricky because you can't really see much from this angle but like so and then the make sure that's facing the right way this half wall and then throw them in and then do that for all of them and then once you've done that just go around the edges and throw the crosses down which is a lot easier if you can fly but it's just build a uh, scaffold in and it's quite easy and then throw the wooden poles across here to cap off the balcony roof Okay, and now we want to just build out our entrance. So we want to go like so, and then fill in this gap if it'll snap, and then do the same on the other side, and then delete that top stone because that was wrong, and throw in three pillars all the way up to the balcony, and then grab the stone arch, throw that here just one down from the top and then fill in the top bit with these so now we want to do our windows so just bust out the third wall and then put in two of the single blocks grab your arch and put them like so and then you want to do that on this side as well and then the same on the back walls and then if you come upstairs and break out all of these we will put the windows in for upstairs as well so just do the two long ones up the sides and then you need to put your arches in first let's so put your arches in on the second row and then the flat ones on top and then the same on the other side, except you want to keep too high on the bottom. So like so, and you should end up with this. And then the final window is this one. So you want to, this one is a bigger window. So you want to go from here 
and then fill in the sides again. Put your arches in one from the top. Fill in the stone. I think I've actually done that one too big. Should be like that. And then I like to do this just because I think it adds a bit extra to it. But again, you don't need to if you don't want to or if you don't like how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to fill in the downstairs. So throw the workbench there. The spinning wheel in the middle. And the forge, wherever it is, here on this side and then throw the however you pronounce that here tannin rack on this side and then just throw a little one by one platform up here and put the chopping block in that and then the tool shelf right above it and that is a max level workbench and then the forge is a bit more complicated because it has more and bigger things but you want to throw that there, that there, and then grab small wall, do the same again. So if you didn't know, you can just press shift to stop it from snapping and then throw that there. And then I like to build it across just to make sure it's even and have another one there and then just break out the stuff in the middle. And then just throw your anvil and the bucket on them. And then your tool rack on this wall here. And that is a max level forge. I just realized that you kind of need to do this step first, but it doesn't really matter if you've already placed this and broke it. But artisan table there and stone cutter in here. And then you want to put your smelter in here and your blast furnace in this corner. It can be a bit finicky putting the getting uh, access to these so make sure you leave enough room especially here uh, if you don't like having them there or you want more you can place them outside in the little canopy bits and then you want to throw your charcoal kiln under the stairs and then let's throw the fire in so make sure you get that centered and throw that down and then throw your cauldron on there and then however many cooking stations you want along here and then get your core wood logs and build a couple of them down like so help ventilate the smoke i just realized i forgot the fermenters down here so just throw one of them in each corner and then for the hand railing you just want to do a one meter one in all of the corners and then the less angled one less angled pole on there and just follow it up and then when you get to the top i prefer having it like this because i feel like having it go up again seems a bit strange and then in the middle here throw a one meter in all the corners a two meter across each side and then if you want to copy the same pattern i did i just did this across each side and then i also threw a log beam in underneath and then you want to, this bit's a bit finicky, but get a log beam in here. That works actually. And then a shorter one on the ends. And then just build that down a couple times all the way around. And then over here, we're going to throw the bed. I like to do this to make it have like some sort of headrest. I just think it looks cool. And then throw down the dragon bed like so and then over here we have the storage so just line it up with the floorboards and then leave a gap so you can sort your chests easily and then once you've put all your chests down just lay a uh, one by one floor across all of them and put more chests on top and then just freehand place that in there doesn't have to be perfect uh, just use the wooden floor as a guide and then you can throw signs on the sides of these if you want and of course you can go higher and higher with the chest if you want to and then over here I like to have the portals and then if you want more room for portals you can just turn one of these little corner bits into uh, an area with portals in it okay and now the rest of the stuff that we're going to put in is either decorative or to raise the 
comfort. So I'm going to do all the bits that raise your comfort first. So just throw something like that there. And then you want to lay all your rugs out. So get your wolf, your deer, and your locks one down. And then if you are putting all of these down, because there's a lot of rugs, you're going to want to alternate the pattern so that you uh, get the comfort from each bit of the house. So your rugs should look something like this. And then you want to throw banners up. So it can be any, any color banner. But I like to have them around something like this. Okay, so that's all the comfort stuff downstairs. And then upstairs, you just want to throw your banners up again. Something like this. So you have them in every sort of area. And then similar sort of pattern with your rug and then you want to throw a throne here and i like to have one here out looking for the rest of your uh, landscape and then a table here with a chair and then another table and chair over here and that should give you pretty good comfort levels throughout the house so all that's left now is decorative and the gazebos. So let's do the gazebos now. So you want to come up here and grab the 45 degree corner piece and throw that down three times, although I'm pretty sure it doesn't let you throw it down three times without support. So just fill in your gaps and then... Bring it out once more. Never mind, doesn't let you do that. You have to bring it. You have to bring the uh, sides in first, and then put that piece in, and then you should end up with that. So then, just do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then now you want to grab a core wood log and a shorter one, which should be snapping, but for some reason it's not. And then get that to snap in there, and then grab a stone pillar, and snap that in like that and then build that up and then i like to surround the corners with the core wood because it looks a lot nicer and then also build another pillar out from the middle and do the same with the core wood and then a pillar out here as well and the same thing and then just throw a core wood log across the top and then just do the exact same thing on this side. And then, like I say, you can do anything with this uh, area really, but if you want to copy it exactly, just throw uh, two bonfires in. And then that's pretty much it. Now we just got to go around and throw in the extra decorations, which is mostly just sconces everywhere. So I'll show you where I place them sped up. And then I just threw a couple benches down here and the item stand on the tables upstairs with the tank card on it. And then if you want the mode ahead, you've got to, you've got to kill mode twice. So yeah, feel free to do that if you want to. And then you can just, you know, go around and put your stone paths in wherever you want. Put your, your grass back where you flattened it from. And yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.